Uh, obviously a monumental win for us against a really good team who's played four of their first six games on the road in the conference, which is very difficult. Uh, but they're very, very good. Obviously defending co-champions along with Tennessee uh, have great respect for uh, their team and, and what a fine job they do and, and the quality of uh, their players. You know, it was big time. That backcourt's unbelievable. But this was huge for us. I was really proud of our team tonight. Uh, I thought we came out with a lot of passion. I thought one of the, the focuses was to really move the ball and share the ball, and we did that tonight. We had 11 assists in the first half, nine in the second, 20 assists, uh, and only 13 turnovers. Another focus to take care of the ball. Uh, I thought Lamar did a really good job penetrating and playing off of two feet in the paint and jump stopping. He, he must have made four or five passes for dunks in there uh, to both uh, Reggie and to uh, uh, Abdul. Uh, I, I thought our defense, so, I mean, this sounds strange, we held them to only 21 three point attempts. You know, usually that's a lot, but, uh, you know, they average over 30. And uh, I thought that our Team defense did a really good job. Brown only attempted four. Brown averages 10 attempts per game. And give them credit. I mean, you know, they, they were down. I think what was the biggest lead we had in the first half? 11, 11 with a chance to go to 14 on that missed three by <laughs> Eric top of the key. I mean, it would have really, because uh, they came back and scored right after that. I remember that uh, distinctly. Uh, but, you know, they took a seven point lead. I was proud of the composure our guys showed to fall behind seven. And, and then, you know, Q came and made two big threes. Uh, and, uh, and we got a steal, I think, scored. But just, you know, I thought Reggie Perry had a double-double tonight, played really good. I thought Abdul, our bigs, we did a better job getting inside, getting to the foul line. Got to the line tonight 34 times, shot 50%, 43 from three. And uh, they're just a very difficult team to defend. Uh, because of the way they can space you with everybody that can shoot threes. And so this is a, a, a really uh, big-time win for us uh, when you look at, uh, you know, our, our uh, drive to try to get to the NCAA tournament this year. You mentioned to us yesterday about Q wanting him to take more shots. I think he had two three-pointers all SEC season. He had four total tonight. Uh, just what's kind of been that process to get him to be – I guess maybe a little bit more unselfish and, and take that shot. I know you were probably pleased to well, see him take it. You know what he did it. is he came in and worked really hard on a shot, both on uh, Thursday and Friday. And when he let those two both go from basically the same place in the corner, there was no hesitation. And it was like, now the banker, I don't think he called that one, but we'll take it. That was actually a huge shot. If I'm not mistaken, it was 70 70. Thank you, Lord. Right, because that goes in for us right there. And then all of a sudden we score again, and there's a technical, and then all of a sudden that was a – but that shot right there, I was like, no, it ain't going, and then boom. And, then, you know, he laughed. I mean, he knew. He, he, he uh, was cute the way he reacted when it went in. Thank God is all I can say. That was big. Go to the back in the cameras. You talked about the ball movement, uh, 20 assists on 28 made baskets. What do you – this isn't the first time that's happened before, but how do you – create that into a consistent thing where that kind of ball movement is something? It's something happens. we're talking about a lot, and I think that it's something that our guys uh, recognize more and more. It's like the last time we were here in this building, we had 26 baskets and 19 of them were assisted against Florida. So uh, when we play the way we play today, I mean, it's just really fun uh, to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, because we have so many good passers and guys that can create for others. And, but getting it inside more was big, you know, getting the ball inside. You know, Eric had an inside touch in the first half. We took too many threes in the first half, 22 of our 29 shots. I thought we did a better job in the second half attacking the rim more. You know, Reggie Perry was you know, definitely huge in there. and uh, Abdul was. We got a lot. I mean, I don't know how, many, how many points did we score in the paint in the second half? Because there, there was a lot more, I felt like, than a – yeah, so that was a big stat right there, 22 points in the paint. And, again, uh, you wonder why I'm losing my hair. When we're up one uh, with a minute three to go, up 10 or 8, I think 10, we don't want to try to score. We want to dribble it out. I forgot to mention that uh, after the game to our guys. But uh, I, uh, do you remember the play? Because uh, that, that, that gave them a chance, and uh, we just got to learn from that. 
Coach, it uh, seemed like the crowd was into it. From yeah, the awesome Oakland crowd team. tonight. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I was so excited <laughs> about the enthusiasm, the sold-out crowd, the atmosphere that is the hump. And uh, Richard Williams mentioned it on the post-game radio show. It's, it's, you know, he he was really pleased because he's seen it many times before, and it felt like days of old to him today. It seemed like after Bruce's technical, the crowd was even more fervent. It, it, I'm just a fever pitch out there. How do you feel like the team kind of fed off that, especially on the defensive end? Yeah, I, I think that they were feeding up the crowd the whole game. I thought our crowd was phenomenal from start to finish. But you're right, they revved it up pretty good there. And I didn't even see what happened. When the play happened and you got the tee, I thought they were calling a timeout. And I was running there trying to figure out if it was a, a full or a, a, a 30. Uh, and uh, I had no idea it even occurred. You mentioned in the opening statement about the four dunks. It felt like Lamar was on the, the assisting end of all of those buckets. It felt like toward the end of the game, it was just leave Lamar and let him make plays. You know, they started trapping our ball screens. And so we went to four down the one time. And I think he made a, a pass for a dunk or we got fouled. Uh, and, you know, he played his heart out. It was really nice for him. You know, he has his mom here today, all the way from New Orleans, along with family and his girlfriend. Uh, from Baton Rouge, so it was a special night for Lamar, and I thought he played a really, really fine basketball tonight at both ends of the floor. Did a lot of good things defensively as well, and uh, you know when you look at uh, the uh, amount of steals we had, we had 11 steals tonight. Nick had three of them. Nick really was, you know, to Bryce Brown's an all-league player, and Nick Weatherspoon uh, did a phenomenal job defending him tonight and keeping his. Uh, Attempts limited. We'll go to Brett standing up to the right. Out, out of the first media timeout, um, the Auburn went hard press. They denied everything all the way up to the half court line with the depth of ball handlers y'all have and your ability to, to drive and kick. Is it team kind of built to to break that kind of thing when it comes up? Yeah, and what I like is that we did a number of times, Brett, we attacked when we were pressed. And like I think when Lamar hit a three, it was 30 to 23. You know, you, it, when someone presses you, if you have the uh, advantage, you want to score. You want to hurt them. Uh, you know, you have to make, to get someone out of a press, you've got to hurt them at the other end. I thought we did that a number of times, especially in the first half. In the, the pick and roll game with Lamar and Eric, there's several spots where the two-man game was, was really good. Yeah. For and I, I thought uh, Lamar, the one that Eric hit the top of the key uh, late in the first half was one that he just – he designed himself out there where they're playing because he saw they were, you know, icing him, forcing him to the side, and so Eric was going to be open on the pop, and he was, and it was a big shot, you know, a really big shot for 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 us.